In this video, we're going to be working on improving feelings of confidence. Now, how do you improve feelings of confidence with EFT? Well, what you're doing is removing the feelings of unconfidence, if you like. Those feelings that make you feel not confident. So what we're going to be doing, again, you'll be following along with the instructions on the screen, saying them in your mind, while following with me tapping on the points. So I want you to just pick one thing you really want to do that you just feel, I haven't got enough confidence for that. Now you don't have to go for the biggest thing ever, but just one of those things you'd like to do, where you should just go up and talk to someone face to face and you just feel, I'd like to talk to them, but I just don't feel good about it. So something, anything at all, whether it's somewhere you work, anything at all, something you want to do, whether it's sports, anything at all, just think of something that you just get that feeling that holds you back. Feeling, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel good about doing that. Just some limiting feeling, feeling that you don't feel confident enough to go and do something. So hopefully something has popped to mind for you that you really want to work on, or you really want to do. So as you think about that thing you really want to do, kind of imagine in your mind you're there just about going to do it. Just imagine in your mind you're there. Perhaps there's other people there. And just perhaps notice how you feel in your body. Where do you feel that in your body? Because that feeling is a connection that we can follow back. It's connected to the trigger in the subconscious mind. And when we work on that feeling, so that feeling doesn't exist or it moves in some way, we're affecting the trigger. And just like a gun, if it hasn't got a trigger, it's useless. So that that bad feeling is never triggered again. Okay, so just think about that place you want to be or that thing you want to do. Notice anywhere you just feel some feelings in your body. Even the slightest little feeling. It doesn't matter. Whatever you feel there now. Now I want you to rate that feeling on a scale of 0 to 10. 10 being the worst you feel and 0 being no feeling at all about it, which means you're actually confident about it. Okay, so with that number in mind, I want you to begin tapping along with me and following the instructions. Even though I have that number of feeling that holds me back from doing what I really want to do, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have that number of feeling that holds me back from doing what I really want to do, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have that number of feeling that holds me back from doing what I really want to do, I deeply and completely accept myself. That number of feeling. That number of feeling. That number of feeling, 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 that number of feeling. Take a deep breath in and release that now. Okay, again, think about what you really want to do. Really think about what you really want to do. And notice if any changes have happened. And if not, that's okay, we're going to do one more round on this. Now this time, as you think about what you really want to do, imagine you're there, ready to do it, just a bit ready to step in and do that. Notice where you feel that feeling. And if you haven't noticed where you feel that feeling, imagine there's a feeling, just whatever pops to mind. But with that feeling, I want you to put a color on that feeling. That feeling that holds you back. Notice again what colour pops to mind. Now put a shape on that colour. If you have a colour, you must have a shape. Again, notice what pops to mind. Don't go searching for analytical answers. That's conscious mind stuff. We're working with the subconscious mind and the subconscious mind works very fast. Just pops to mind. Just the same as when you're trying to remember someone's name 
and sometime later it pops to mind. It's your subconscious mind has been working in the background for you. So whatever color and shape pop to mind, that is the road we're working on because that's the connection to the subconscious trigger. Okay, so with that color and shape, let's start tapping in. Even though I have that color and shape that has been holding me back, I'm okay. Even though I have that color and shape that's been holding me back, I'm okay. Even though I have that color and shape that's been holding me back, I'm okay. That color and shape. 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 Take a deep breath in. And release that now. Again, think about what you've been wanting to do. Notice. Has that color and shape changed in some way? And if it's a color and shape that feels more acceptable to you, then you're done. And if not, you can go back and do the mopping up section or the advanced EFT, whatever you wish. The other thing is, sometimes people think that a change hasn't happened. They go, well, something's happened here, but when I go out there, so you may have a little anticipation about going and doing that. But go and do it. Test it out. And if you find that when you get there, you're unable to do what you wanted to do, you can always come back and do EFT on what you have felt. You have all the tools now to make positive changes in your life. So go and do it.